Right, so today I'm going to show you there's a cheeky little workflow that lets you get shots out of Final Cut Pro. You can use a piece of software called Synthize, which does excellent 3D motion tracking. And the great thing about Synthize is it'll export a Motion 3 camera, which will let you take advantage of Motion 3's 3D text and lighting and materials. So you can get shots that look like this, where you've got text sitting in 3D naturally within scenes. It's quite a high production value effect and if you're in property it works particularly well because it lets you get your communication embedded right inside the video. Uh, you can run concept shots. Uh, here's one that I did the drone shot over a, a new build site and you can see the text is just sitting in there nicely into the shot again you can see as the camera rolls over the top of this building it's quite impressive the way 3d movement of text is matching the shot typically to get these sort of effects you'd need nuke or after effects once you learn how to use synthize which is quite a complex program but can be learned in an evening to get the basics and it's Definitely a handy and relatively unknown workflow to get this effect happening out of Final Cut using motion. I'm going to do you a little sample just to show you how it all works. This is just a straight push into the living room off a gimbal, so a relatively smooth shot. And I'm thinking, wouldn't it be cool to be able to track some text into that shot? I've already exported this um, movie and imported it into Synthize. Now, these guys guard their code very very carefully so you can get a demo version of this but it'll only do the first uh, nine frames but uh it's very powerful software um it works really quickly on an iMac and I'll just give you an overview of how it works here we have that same shot exported out of Final Cut it's in Synthize what Synthize will basically do is find points to track in this scene and use the parallax between the points that are in the distance and up close and it'll use that parallax relative motion between the point trackers to reverse engineer a camera solution that mimics what the actual camera shot it's pretty clever you can just hit auto and but i'm going to run you through step by step so the first thing you want to do is look at your features um, these will be your little point tracks and I just like to go up, it'll give you 120 of those. And I think that's way too many. Um, I go for a maximum of four, minimum of 12. So it'll be looking for the best points to track in the scene. And you don't want too many because you just get overloaded with points and you don't want too few because you don't get an accurate solve. Going with 12 minimum trackers and 40 maximum tends to give a pretty good result. Um, so we're gonna auto track. This is gonna go through real quick and now what it's done now is it's taken a whole bunch of features. You can see it's gone crazy here, um, track them and it'll pull out the best features or the most accurate tracks. We can look at the trackers it's actually used and have a look here. We can see all these points in the scene. Some of them are close, some of them are far away and it's a relative movement between the close and the far away points that gives us our camera solve. And this is where synthize that tracking is pretty clever. Now, the first thing you want to do is go through, there'll be a few trackers that aren't quite right. Like, for example, there's this one here on the mirror. Mirrors are problematic because reflections tend to throw things off. So I'll just go through and get rid of that. And this will improve the accuracy of our solve. There's one in the mirror here. Again, mirrors are tricky. So I'm going to get rid of that. We've got enough points here for Synthize to be able to do what I think will be a pretty accurate track. The next thing we want to do is tell Synthize what's left and right, up and down, and what's Z space. So I can go into 3D, and this effectively allows me to tell Synthize what's going on. And it's got your X, Y, and Z axis here. You click this little three there, which will let us set our X, Y, and Z points. And you wanna look for three points that look relatively like a right angle in space. And um, there's one there one there and one there um, apply coordinate system yes so now what synthize has done is it knows how to set up the scene so now if we look at the 3d we can drop in a virtual box into the scene and see if it looks like it, it's relatively correct in the way it's tracked i'm just going to draw that in there and you can see it's sitting in right about 
where I told it to originate the scene. Let's move that box up a little bit and we'll just track through the camera. We'll see that box in the scene is looking pretty good. This sort of track, because it's off a gimbal, there's not a lot of radical movement. So that's given me reasonable confidence that the track's good. I'll look at my summary. There is typically an error figure, which is right here. And if it's below one pixel, so this is 0.49, you generally know that you've got a pretty good solve. This is where things get really handy because Synthize will now export a Motion 3 project and camera that we can work in with the scene. So go to File, Export, right down here, Motion 3 camera, that is exported. Created in Motion, let's open it up. Bang, now when it first pops up, it'll look a bit funky. Uh, if we go Fit, the scene, and we want to look at the active camera, everything should swing around and be relatively correct in the project. So what we have now, if you look carefully, you can see that Synthize has created a mesh round about in 3D space in the shot. Now, what I can do now is take some simple text, drop it in. Uh, what's the sort of thing we want to call this? Perhaps living room fly through still looking a bit two-dimensional though so what i'd like to do is first of all i am going to scale this up Oop. motion has an excellent 3d text tool so we click on 3d text suddenly the text is now 3d i like to tidy up my front edges just so that they're not dominating the text too much uh, you can add weight to your text, get it looking very 3D. Now, the next trick we want to do is replicate the lighting in the scene. So we know the lighting is coming from the window. And as you see here, as we move the text, it'll respond to the light. And we've got something relatively 3D looking there. And if we move the cursor through the scene, it's looking pretty three-dimensional, looking good. So there you go, you've got the shot out of Final Cut and using Synthize and the Motion 3 camera and Motion 3's amazing 3D text compositing, you can get some pretty cool looking shots. Right, I hope you found that useful. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.